what is the difference between Yuha and Jugram's Almighty? First of all, we know that they both possess the Almighty because Jugram is Yuha's other half. In the Viz translation, it says, together we are a whole, which means that Yuha is actually incomplete without Jugram. And based on the raw Japanese, he's his other half. In other words, they are literally of the same value, with the main dissimilarity being that although Jugram is of the same value as Yuha, his development is simply immature. This is the reason why Jugram is unable to fully use the Almighty. It also also explains Jugram's inability to give and take power. But he did possess a more diluted version of power sharing, which allows those around him like Basby to progress at a genius level. The Almighty is essentially the ultimate power. Also translated as omnipotence and omniscience, the use of nomenclature to signify superiority. Even in the face of Ichibe Hyosube's tremendous power, Yuha makes it clear that all that he can see is powerless. Drawing blackness from the universe itself, removing one's name or rewriting their existence, is child's play before this wondrous power. Even after glancing upon the Futen Taisatsu Ryo which erases existence and nullifies reincarnation, what many don't seem to understand is that Yuha looks directly upon that power and proclaims that even the likes of that ability is powerless before him. Even after Ichibe remade Yuha's existence into a black ant, the Almighty literally made the blackness impotent and stripped off the characters which Ichibe wrote upon his body. After absorbing the Mimihagi and the Reio, he explained that the future is appear to him like grains of sand, and that trying to change a future is like jumping from one grain of sand to the other, and that his ultimate power is not to simply see the futures, but to reach into them and alter them. But how much of this power does Jugam Hashwald possess? Now the battle against Uryu is not a representation of Jugam's true strength, as it was explained in both the manga and the novel that he was not trying to kill Uryu, making the argument which scales Uryu to almighty Jugram invalid, until it is directly proven that Uryu himself can fight at this level. Jugram is unable to see every single future unlike Yuha Baha, and by extension he has not shown the power to alter the future itself. Jugam also explained that in relation to himself, the Almighty is like a borrowed power, indicating that Yuha has something additional beyond the power to see the futures. Of course, he's foreshadowing Yuha's ability to change the future. However, we oftentimes ignore the basic power of the Almighty. One, it can see the distant futures. Two, the user will know everything that they see. In other words, they will understand all events and abilities that they glance upon. And three, all abilities that he knows take his side and cannot be used to hurt him. So the Almighty itself grants the power to disengage and nullify other people's abilities. Jugam Hashwalt would possess this basic aspect of the Almighty, sharing this fundamental aspect of the Quincy King's true power. But what makes Ashwald's power even more terrifying is the fact that he eventually switches power not with this version of Yuha, but instead with Soul King Yuha, as he gained Yuha's Soul King level almighty when the Quincy Monarch slumbers. This is where we end up with statements like Jugram gaining full power over the stern Ritters as his majesty sleeps, fully exercising power in his majesty's place. The ultimate ruler who commands, punishes and has power over stern Ritters. And if you should go in full detail, it wouldn't be contradictory for the Soul King Almighty which he gains from Yuha to rank him beside the godlike enemies from history, seeing through everything in the future that he can behold, wielding aspects of a power which descend from a truly godlike being, the Reio. Even with the existence of so many other quinces, he is hailed the next emperor, the one who would rule over the stern Richards, number two in the Banden Reich. I hope you understand that while he cannot change the future, Jugram's power is more expansive than you might think. And yes, being chosen as the emperor of the stern Richards is a direct reference to your power. I hope you guys enjoy the the frequency with which I've been posting videos. When I am able, I will try very hard to get information to you. Cheers.